Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. So I've got another video on this, um, but I don't have time to edit it, so this I think I'm just going to send out, uh, out raw. Um, so these are the results for my last uh, powdered metal parts. <coughs> uh, lighting's not too good, I don't think. Um, hopefully you can see there. So the, uh, the part, it should be a ring and it didn't come out of the die, so it, it broke up. Um, I went ahead and centered it anyways, um, and I'm glad I did because um, it's got all these uh, balls you can see on the surface. And what I think that is is the uh, the tin that's uh, boiled out. So it looks like I need to adjust my centering schedule. Um, so that's uh, lesson learned uh, number one and two in, uh, in one go. So my previous uh, pressing die... Um, wasn't working too well, so I, I did a redesign. Um, this one has a bottom punch. Um, so the way it works is there's the bottom punch right there. You fill it full of the powdered metal. You put the top punch on and you press it. And um, this way, the part would be right here and that way Hopefully I'll be able to get it out without fracturing it. So we'll see. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is uh, do the first uh, test on that. So, I need 10 and a quarter grams. This is a... Uh, 9010 uh, powdered uh, pre alloyed uh, bronze. Four, um, sold for powdered metal parts. Um, and then in addition, 5% um, by weight uh, graphite. So there's four grams, five grams, six grams, seven grams, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust my volumes a little bit. I'm still a little bit off because uh, the first calculations I did didn't account for the, uh, the density of the graphite and the, uh, <clears throat> the browns being so different. So this is going to be less than full density. Got to knock a little out there. This is mainly to test if uh, the side design works. Okay, so it's full of the powdered metal material. And I'm going to put the top on. And I'm going to press it in the hydraulic uh, press. Let's see if I can get you a view here. Trusty hydraulic press. All right. Safety squints on. What I really needed to be able to do is measure the, uh, the force. 
but uh, that's step number two. I've got a gauge to add to the, uh, the jack, and I'll actually know what kind of force I'm putting on it. together all right I'm actually going to Ratios are all off, so I'm just going to press this a little bit more. Alright, so I got it uh, pressed and it uh, took a little bit of uh, finagling to get the uh, die apart, but it's all in one piece. Um, the bigger issue is probably that this is made out of aluminum, um, but uh, for prototyping, uh, that's okay. Um, focus, focus. So, as you might expect, the um, So, like I was saying, as you might expect, it was a little hard to uh, to get apart, um, and that's due to the aluminum uh, kind of not sliding too well against itself. But uh, it came out okay. Um, it's uh, one intact uh, solid piece. Um, it's not uh, quite full density because I still didn't have enough um, volume in the uncompressed position for all the powder, um, which isn't a big deal. I can I can remedy that. The uh, part weight, our target mass was uh, 10 and a quarter grams, and um, we're at about 11. The size is about right. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and center this um, and see what I can learn from it. Hopefully, uh, dial in my centering schedule a little bit better, and. Uh, yeah, not too bad, I think, for the uh, the second press part. Can only improve from here. The furnace is warming up. Charcoal to create a reducing atmosphere. Powdered metal part. More charcoal. Last uh, one I did, I did it, uh, it was like 1600 Fahrenheit for, what was it, 90 minutes? I'm going to do this one at 1500 for half an hour. We'll see what happens. This is up to 10, 1500 Fahrenheit.
There's the part. I'm going to go ahead and let that uh, air quench. It's distorted. So I will have to uh, pack it in there better next time. It was glowing red when I took it out. So I'm going to let that uh, cool off and uh, see what kind of properties it's got. Centered, it's cooled off, cool to touch. Um, I had it jammed in here, and it wasn't quite big enough, um, filled with uh, uh, charcoal, and uh, it, en it ended up uh, warping the part, so uh, I'll uh, have to get a, a better uh, vessel to uh, center it in. Um, not, not a big deal, but uh, the part seems sturdy. Um, I haven't, you know, really put any major forces on it, but it's it's strong and solid. Um, so I think overall, for a, for a second test, it uh, turned out pretty good. You can see it's uh, not particularly dense. Just sanded it off a bit. But, room to improve. Thanks for watching.